Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me today back in uh, Planet Zoo. And we're starting a new zoo today. So it's been a few days since um, we finished Pine Valley Zoo. Um, and I've been kind of thinking about what to do and all my options. And there are lots of ideas going around in my head. But this is the one that I'm going to try and do first. So this is Oakland Zoo. So this is going to be a sort of traditional English zoo and what I've done here is uh, I've, I've raised the land around the edge so this is essentially the perimeter of the zoo so it's gonna be a small zoo um, it's got one big oak tree in the middle a couple of ponds and a little stream so really simple layout uh, and that's all I've got to work with um, so I'm kind of limiting myself as much as I can to try and uh, well, obviously, I I want to I want to have a project that starts and finishes, so that's always going to be a good thing. But also, my computer can't handle giant zoos, so um, I've got to go small, um, just so that it it keeps working, basically. Um, you know, so there we go. So that's my plan. So this um, this is like I say, a traditional English zoo. Um, it's going to be a zoo. Maybe it's, my my thinking is that it's a zoo that's been around for a while, but has maybe recently had a bit of investment so that it's going to have a, a bit of a mix of new and old style um but other than that i don't know we'll see um we'll just have to see what happens also uh, as far as the animals are concerned i'm going to try and stick to animals that you do find in english zoos um, for any of you who don't know i do live in england i am english i live in the southeast where we've got lots of nice zoos and wildlife parks so i'm going to be sticking to the animals that i know would be found in this area of the country so there we go so that's my plan um, and i'm going to crack straight on uh, with the entrance area so i've left myself a little gap here for an entrance um, building of some sort but first i want to have a look at the pathway so let's crack on with that um so thank you for coming back um it has been a little gap in between projects um, I've been just releasing a couple of old foundation videos actually in, in between um, and uh, yeah so it's I've just you know I've been thinking a bit about what I can do and all my options hopefully you guys are going to have some good suggestions as well so please do keep them coming um, oh, hang on. so I'm just trying to get this path started uh, what kind of path do I want I'll just go with that for now just um, to get it going um, so yeah I've got lots of ideas of, of zoos that I could potentially do and um, we'll just have to see what takes my fancy really I'm not too sure how this path is going to go through the entrance here but something like that and then I'm going to come back here and bring it off this way as well um, yeah I've, I've got I've got a few ideas basically of, of potential um, potential zoos that I can uh, create including um, themed zoos so zoos which um, are themed uh, to particular animals or particular areas of the world that kind of thing um, so we'll see but for now I, I, I'm just gonna have a bit of fun in this one um, I want a couple of big flower beds on this entrance area so I want this pathway yeah something like that so that I can create two large flower beds in there cool I think that's a good layout for that <clears throat> Not too sure about what I'm doing just here actually. Let's have a think. I might see, yeah, I might do that. That looks a bit better, doesn't it? And then have a pathway kind of going off in each direction, something like that. So I am largely making this up as I go along. Um, that's kind of the fun of these things. But yeah, I've, I've certainly got a few ideas. Um, but yeah, it's going to be quite a, a slow paced um, style again, like I did with Pine Valley Zoo, where you get to see everything I do, whether it's good or bad, you get to see the mistakes. Um, 
And in this one, I'm I'm hoping to really go into detail and and spend more time on the buildings and you know trying to 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 be creative in ways that I haven't before. That's my plan. But we'll just have to see what happens. Um, right. So I've got an idea. I want to do these flower beds. Um, I want to use these. These are these are colourable, so I I really like the idea of these. Um, oh, hang on. Is there a What have we got? Okay, we've got ones like that. That's not really what I wanted. We don't have a thin version of these, do we? Um, I guess... I guess I could do this kind of thing. They're not going to be this tall, of course. I'm just building it like this for now, and then I can sink it into the ground. Uh, but yeah, my thinking is... Um, I want to, yeah, I want to keep it random, if I can. This this kind of thing. I'm not sure what colour this is going to be yet, but okay, let's go with that. So let's get that combined. Um, I'm going to build the whole thing and then recolor it. Is my plan. Um, so what I actually I think what I need to do is kind of lower that down. I'm worried actually that's it is quite thick, isn't it? Uh, let's get rid of our angle snap. As with all things that I do in this game, I will make mistakes. I, <laughs> yeah, that didn't work, did it? Let's do it. Let's do it this way. Um, yeah, I mean, th things will go wrong. Things will go well. I'll go back and make changes, and we'll just have to see what happens. Really, that's that's how I like to play these games. Is just um, lots of experimentation. Uh, obviously feedback from you guys is really helpful as well you give me inspiration so please do keep the feedback coming um, yeah any any sort of ideas that you have whether it's suggestions on animals or um, particular types of habitats for the zoo I mean for now if you can keep your ideas to what I'm doing in this zoo but obviously I, I welcome ideas as well for other projects so my, my thinking is that this project will be smaller obviously like, like quicker it will finish quicker than my last one so Pine Valley Zoo went for about 85 episodes uh, which is quite a lot really but I was nowhere near finished with Pine Valley Zoo unfortunately I had to stop it because of the um, the graphical issues that I was having and, and the, the lag issues so I didn't really have a lot of choice in it Right. I know this this is going to overlap the pathway a bit here, but I kind of just want to. Yeah, I want to keep it looking good, so I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll get away with that. Thing is, when when you do this sort of creative stuff, you'll always end up with a certain amount of clipping of of people walking through your scenery items, and I don't mind that. You know, you just have to deal with it. You can get away around that by putting in curbs and things, but it's not always necessary. Okay, nearly there. Well, I have had a few days away from the game. Sometimes it's good to have a, a break, um, especially when you're recording quite intensely, like I have been. Um, it, it can be quite good actually to um, to just get away and just let the creative juices come back because it's it's hard to continuously be creative in a game like this oh that actually worked out quite nicely there didn't it look at that okay interesting 
Now obviously the colouring is all wrong, so I'm thinking I'm just going to completely randomly highlight various bits. Something like that. So what colours are we thinking? I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking a, 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 ver a variety of greys I think would look good. Actually, do you know what I might do to make it a bit easier? Let's make the whole thing grey first. Then I'll come back in and highlight some. And get some lighter grey. And then I will go back again. Let's just make sure I'm getting a, a mix of the the big ones and the small ones here. Okay, something like that. Let's go lighter again. Now, do I do I want to go one more? Do I want to get? view like that which are maybe just something over here as well which are even lighter like that. okay that looks all right I uh, just need to sort that one out actually I think that will look better if I get that one darker yeah nice how does this end yeah I need to sort this end as well let's just get that one uh, that one there we go oh hang on is there no there is only just the two there yeah that's fine good okay now is it <clears throat> Excuse me, is it too high still? Unfortunately, if you lower it much more, you're not going to get a lot of height for the uh, these very low rocks, are you? But I think I can get away with that. Okay, let's keep going. Actually, I wonder if I want to do this as a separate thing. Let's, I'm just going to copy this, because it's, it's not quite the right size for over here. Um, but I might be able to kind of manipulate it a bit and use it no okay that's fine I'll come back to that um, okay yeah let's uh, let's come into here then and let's put in um, some soil um, I'm thinking is this gonna be too big no okay that's good that works nicely that probably is going to be too big going that way that's fine okay let's shrink it down so again this is going to be um, sort of traditional English planting I want the zoo to have a bit of fun in it as well uh, something that happens a lot in England I'm sure this is the same worldwide uh, zoos are very much aimed at children so they will often have lots of, sort of games and little little posters and things for children to be looking at I quite like that it's a bit different isn't it See, I'm kind of thinking that this area is new, you know, like they've had some money invested and this is what they've come up with. Um, I quite, yeah, I quite do quite like that. Um, do you know what I am thinking is, I do probably want to, I probably do want to sort of copy some of this before I start putting the plants in over here so that I can 
<clears throat> I can use it to create that flower bed as well um, right um, yeah so this is kind of a modern area that you know this this sort of border here looks quite modern doesn't it um, that's what I'm thinking here so let's think about the planting um, I think they would probably get a couple of sort of feature trees in here um, I'm thinking maybe like a something like that no that's too big too bushy um, no, I'm looking for something with with color but See, that's a possibility. Let's just stick that out there for a second. Or we've got something like that. Wow, I mean, that's, oh, that's quite nice. Ooh, yeah, the orange and the yellow, that goes well together. Hmm. Okay, let's try, let's have a look. Maybe Maybe them at the end, and then maybe one of these in the middle. Let's get rid of that one. Because you wouldn't want to block the view too much. So as people come in, you, you don't want this to be sort of screened off. But at the same time, you would want, you would want to be able to see, you know, a, bit of, a nice bit of foliage, a bit of height in there as well. I tell you what, I am wondering whether I want the soil there actually, or whether I'd, I'd be better off putting something different down. I tell you what, I might just try, and I know this is going back to my old favourite. Just wondering if a, a basic covering of something like this underneath. No, it's a bit too big. That. That's quite nice, is it? Isn't it as a because the, these would be shrubberies not flower beds that's what I'm thinking is these these would be shrubs not flowers flowers would be a bit too intricate for this entrance area I think so this is why I'm thinking of filling it with with bush that's quite a nice looking thing it's a little bit big though I think I can probably just about get away with that let's just have a look at that that does look nice actually and there's a few little gaps that I could try and poke other bits and pieces through and then here it does widen out a bit which is going to help create a few more gaps I quite like it coming out between the rocks here Okay, yeah, this is looking good. This is just the basic ground covering. And then I will start looking at what else can fill in these gaps, give it a bit more height. Okay, what do we think? Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. So yeah, so I need, uh, whoops, I need other things like that but not like that that could work if it's yeah that's I quite like that that's a that's a good splash of color isn't it let's just have a look what do we think no no it doesn't quite work for me actually what else have we got? Oh, the hawthorn. Maybe a nice hawthorn in the middle of this. It's a sort of a feature in the middle there. Would look good. And then another one, maybe the bigger version of it over here. Yep, I think that would look good. Let's turn that that way. Yeah. Yeah, so the smaller one is there because the entrance is going to be behind here. So again, I don't want to completely block that view. I want something to be able to be seen through there. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Um, what else do we have? See, sometimes you just got to grab a plant and just put it on and 
see what happens that's actually i quite like that it just adds that extra layer of green i can i can kind of do that all the way along and it just creates that sort of overgrown feel which is what i'm going for here yeah that's nice isn't it i like that Okay, I'm thinking ferns, or, or bracken possibly more than ferns, although actually, I mean, look at them, they, they look great. And what you can do with these, obviously that is hovering in the air, but it doesn't matter, because once you sink it into here, it just looks like it's grown taller. And I really like that. I, I, like, the, I like the diversity of things like that, where you, you, can, you can just kind of manipulate them To, to, to kind of do what you want them to do rather than what they actually should be doing which I do like you've got to be careful obviously that the bottoms are at least slightly hidden otherwise it, it it's pretty obvious that they're floating which you don't want but yeah I do kind of like I like that you can yeah, uh, yeah. okay okay uh -huh not sure not sure it's a little bit maybe it does need a bit more color yeah let's let's give it a then nice idea but didn't quite work um, let's let's go for the color then let's have a look at our flowers um, I'm not against having some of these in here just a few see again I can just make this sort of raised up in the air like this so that it's hovering and and just kind of dot some of these through here to create that impression that you've got some big flowers kind of pushing their way up through the uh, the undergrowth trying to trying to get out good yeah let's just get a couple more over this side okay I like that what else have we got that's that's yeah that's not quite gonna work oh that's that's a nice one isn't it as is always the case with this sort of thing just um, just keep on adding stuff until you think you've gone too far bit of bit of sea holly maybe not too much just a few of these okay no that's too tropical for out the front here Ah, uh, maybe just finish it off with a couple of these. Okay. I quite like that. it's a bit different isn't it and then I basically need to duplicate it over into there not sure what I'm going to do about it around the outside it's a, they're, they're, it's a little bit it's not quite English enough for me actually I think these these are putting me off not um they're not they're not english plants and um they're just they're a little bit too exotic i think but that's fine 
you know, you've got to try these things. That doesn't always work. I mean, they look fine, but they're just, it's, you know, I am going for that English look. So, you know, shrubs and, and then just the odd flower here and there. Um, these, these are all English plants. Um, this is goldenrod, very popular. Actually, what is this, the purple thing? If I can click on it. No, I can't click on it. <laughs> Hang on, I'll click on it down here. An alpine Facelia large. I don't actually know where that comes from, but it's um, it's not a plant I'm familiar with. But it looks like a, a, an English plant, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that. And then this is sea holly. I, I grow that all the time, so that's certainly English enough. What I might do around the outside is some thicker foliage. Um, I'm thinking I want to do a nice hedge and fence around the outside, and then maybe behind that I'll do some thicker foliage. I'm not going to go over the top with foliage because that's what caused um, I think the other game to, to really struggle. Um, it doesn't like the game doesn't like having to load up lots of trees because you know the, the polygons are painful for a computer to load. Right now um, what I'm going to do is just split that off into its own group and uh, do a little bit of work on this try and move this and oh dear I didn't do that very well did I <laughs> hang on let's try that again uh, yeah let's, um, let's see if I can at least get a little bit of this lined up on this side in the right sort of position okay that's good and then I can I can maneuver the rest a bit let's just get that out there for a second okay that's cool um, yeah I'm gonna have to play around with the colors again but that's fine I'll, I, I'll, I'll get the structure in place first um, before I start faffing around with recoloring again um, so animal wise I'm thinking uh, I'm gonna have things like uh, sorry, hang on. Um, things like lemurs are very popular in English zoos. Chimpanzees. Um, mostly small animals. Obviously, I'm I'm trying to go for a small zoo here, so I'm not going to have any of the big animals. No, no buffalo or elephants. Um, I may have a big cat of some sort. I'm also going to go for realistic sized habitats. Um, it's always very easy in this game to, to go over the top with your habitats and, and really make very large habitats. When it's just not realistic in zoos, they don't generally have lots of space for massive natural habitats for these creatures. Um, for example, a, a in the last zoo in, in Pine Valley Zoo I I did a, a reptile habitat and now that reptile habitat was huge and it did have um, well what did it have it had it, I don't know it must have had 20 30 animals in it now realistically um, there's just no way that a zoo would actually have that many reptiles living together it just wouldn't happen so um, yeah what I'm going to try and do is make the habitats a more realistic size so reptiles would would really have quite a small habitat um, I mean over here you, you see uh, a crocodile in a habitat and it's it's got a little bit of water it's got um, Uh, it's got a little bit of land, but not much, not much space at all, really, because they don't need it. I mean, crocodiles are very inactive creatures, really, so they don't actually need a lot of space. So, yeah, more realistic. Um, and that's a good thing, because it means that I can, I'm working more with um with the space that I've got available this is this is going to be a small zoo so I, I can't afford um, to have really uh, really big enclosures for the animals it needs to stay relatively compact 
So that's more of a challenge as well, which I like. Right, I think what I'll do, I think we've done all right for the first episode. I feel like I'm, I'm making some decent progress and I'm, 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 hopefully I've explained to you the, uh, the idea and the thought process behind the zoo. So um, what I might do is leave the episode there and I might just do this flower bed off camera. You don't need to see me do another flower bed because it's going to look exactly the same as that one. And then I will come back once uh, this, these flower beds are done and then we can continue working on this entrance area. I think that makes sense. Um, so let's leave it there. So thank you very much for joining me. I do hope you're looking forward to this new series. And um, yeah, please do let me know your thoughts or ideas for it. Uh, and please do join me in the next episode. If you have enjoyed this one and you're looking forward to the series, then hit the like button for me. That'd be fantastic. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, then please do. And uh, you'll get all your notifications. I will attempt to be doing daily videos again for this series. I can't guarantee that going forwards because of the whole baby thing. And uh, I'm, I'm full time back to back to work again now as well after my Christmas break. So uh, we'll have to see how that goes. Um, but yeah, please do. Uh, please do join me as often as you can. Uh, brilliant. Thank you very much. And I will see you again soon. Do take care. Bye bye.